marker into your world that you can fast travel to. So we're going to begin by opening the wasteland in the cell view window. This takes a while. Ooh, you might want to um, save your plugin as well before you start. I'll do that now. YouTube marker. It doesn't matter what you call it, but you know. So, what I'm going to do now is just select a random place. Um, I, I've decided to do campground one. But really, what you'd probably use this for is if you've made something that you want to give a map marker to, but I don't have anything that I've made that I want to place a map marker on. So, I'm just going to place one randomly in my world just to demonstrate it. There's already one over there, but it doesn't make a difference. It's not that important. So, look, look here. This will be. Um, I'll use this as my example. So what you want to do is scroll down to static and map map marker. So you'll see here. So click, drag right into the world, and this should appear like that. So we hit F and it disappeared. So hold Z and drag it down toward the floor like that. It doesn't really matter if it floats a little bit off the ground. Because obviously this isn't going to appear. This is just where you'll appear when you fast travel to it. This M here. So double click. And here it says reference ID. This isn't important. It's not vital for the marker. But if you wanted to say use it in a script. Like like make somebody teleport there in scripting. You will want to put a reference. So you put. I'll put in my marker ref. But it's not really important. That's just for when. That's just for scripting and stuff. Which I'm not going to do in this. So marker data, this is the important thing, so you check marker data and name, this is what will appear when you fast travel there. So I'm just going to call it my marker, but you might want to call it something more appropriate. Now this is also what you will, what the icon will look like. So you know, if you click this, the icon will appear, the picture of a vault door, you know, like on your map. This will appear, you know, the monument picture, so I'm going to choose natural landmark since it's in the middle of nowhere and visible that will mean that it starts off visible can travel to means you can start off able to travel to it but in a regular marker you would not have any of these so hit ok and save and that is well that is done really that's all you ought to do this is going to be an incredibly short video so i'm actually going to go over in worlds and show you where show you what it's like so i'm just going to find first it's quite close to the dunwich building the place i've chosen so i just need to make sure i know where it is so I'll be back soon. One other thing, <coughs> just gonna quickly go through using Fallout Mob Manager again, in case people haven't seen the other tutorials I've done where it showed it. But yeah, I'll just uncheck. See, all, these are all the mods that I've got at the moment, and if I had all these on, you know, I, you can click and drag these up your load order, and that if the ones higher up load first, and these, it, it basically avoids conflicts. So higher up ones should hopefully have fewer conflicts. But I'm not gonna have all my mods on. I'm just going to have a one mod on, so that's that. Alright, <coughs> so I'm here in the capital wasteland, and we're going to go to the Dunwich building, which is close to by my thing. How can I? I'm, there's no way I've not been. I know it's near Gerda Shade. Oh, it is. Hold on. No, I thought that that was my map marker appearing, but no. Yeah, I've got the Explorer perk, so everything appears, except my map marker, because I took the perk before it came out. So it's. You'll see these triangles. It's one of those, but I'm not certain which one, so we're just going to travel around. There it is, so you can see the swampy pool thing that I placed it at. Ooh, I don't like the frame rate drop I'm getting here. Please don't crash. You've discovered my marker. And now you see, obviously, I don't, I'm at my max level, so no experience came up, but experience would have come up if I wasn't a god of Ad Scorpion. And a friend? Ooh, who's that? <laughs> Yo. Another Wasteland survivor, huh? Sorry, but I don't got enough to share. Get your own copy of the book and do your own hunting. Book? Ain't you what heard book? of the Wasteland Survival Guide? 
Bought one off a trader, and it. I helped off. I must have already done something else. Well, thanks. How about you just mind your own business, okay? Not very nice. Anyway, so that's good of a world map. And look, you can see my marker, and it's appeared like that because I selected the natural landmark section. And you can see other examples. That's the. I don't know. See, look, that would be the, what the monument one looked like. The train station, the. Stuff, you know, natural landmark. And obviously, I don't know, vaults, looks like that. So that's pretty much it. And it could be fast travel too, as well. Even though we're right there already. So. That is the end of my tutorial for map markers. I'm padding this out so much because otherwise it'd be really, really short. <laughs> I should really get this bound because I like it. My favourite weapon.